take our needle, take our needles, spray off the tips, wipe them on some clean, clean paper towel, make sure they're nice and clean. Reinsert them. Screw them all the way in. And now I know I have a chances are when I put it back together and it runs, I shouldn't have to even adjust it. I might tweak it a little bit, but um so one and a quarter turn, so there's my quarter. And there's my one. Put it about ten and four. Perfect. Grab the other one. Same thing. Spray it off. Make sure it's nice and clean. Reinsert it, screw it all the way in. And this one's just shy, just under one turn. So lightly just seat it until it stops. There it stops. And then it was one turn, but this one was at about 11 and 5. In the, um, the idle circuit on the side touching the engine, there was always a couple holes right inside there. Right where it's right where about where I'm pointing. And what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna spray through this hole, through your idle jet. I'm gonna spray right into it and see and I want gas to come up through there. That means the gas travels up through the needle and through the backside of this welch plug. You can take this welch plug out if you want, but if it passes through there, that means that that's clean. And generally, since that's on an upper part of the carb, gas never really settles there. It usually settles closer to the bottom, so you don't really have to worry. So I'm going to spray right there until I move it around. There. I see gas spraying out of both the little holes in there. So I know the passage for the needle up there is nice and clean. Now spray... Through the inside of the carburetor. And then your main venturi. I don't know if I said that. But your main venturi right in the middle. Down there. Gas will spray through that. And it actually, I heard it spraying, but I didn't say anything. But when your main jet's out. And you're spraying there. You should see, I don't know if the camera can see that or not, but gas is actually spraying up into the throat of the carburetor. So I know that passage is all clean. This one's your idle, that one's your high, or they call them low and high, and they, you see a little H right there. A lot of times they have a little L marked somewhere as well, low and high. So this one will be pretty fast. This one's for low. Um, these things don't really idle, but they still need an idle circuit to run better. They run, they just run smoother with an idle circuit. Half, one, eleven, five. Okay, I'll show you how to take this, um, Take that out though. Take the needle out if you want. So 9.30 seconds. Put it on there. Broke free. You'll just screw it out. And if you replace the needle and seat, The um, seat's actually pushed, just set down in there, a little rubber thing. And then your, there's your needle, and it'll come with a little spring as well. Let's clean that off. Put it back together by inserting... The needle and seat 
into into the well inserting the needle and spring into the seat and there's a little washer on there too push it back up start it by hand snug it back up there we go let's make sure it's not going to leak seals it up nice and tight we're good spray it all down it's just a little air passage you don't need to clean that necessarily wipe it all down get a clean towel I think I'm working higher than the camera That aside, get my carburetor all nice and clean. I sprayed, make sure it's all clean through the inside. Okay, let's get my new diver frame and gasket. Show you what I mean. Right here, diver frame and gasket. Go two to ways. Remember which way they came off. This, the side with the big metal disc, always goes in. It pushes on the little needle. And then the gasket actually goes behind. Line up all the little holes. Place your cap back on. Insert a screw. Insert the opposite side. And put the other two in. Sometimes it's easier without gloves. Snug them down. Make sure they're all nice and tight. Let's put the front back on. And this is just designed to um, uh, actually suck the hot air off the engine. I actually have it angled up so it sucks the hot air off the fins. It's kind of, you know, no snowblowers have air filters, but it's kind of a bad idea in the sense that you got a scoop directing everything that, you know, any junk or debris that could fall right into your carburetor. But, Snowblowers run in clean conditions and they have a cover on them, but that's the number one reason why you don't want to run your car, your snowblower without a cover. Snugged up. Put it back. Make sure your throttle moves good. Choke moves good. Put it back together see if it runs.